week. We only have a couple days left before Christmas break. And yesterday we did a lot of like finals and stuff that were a little boring, but the rest of the week is gonna be pretty fun. So I thought I would show you some of the things that we're doing and some of the things that I've talked about on Insta Stories that I thought I would link here. We had a little convo on Insta Stories yesterday trying to decide if it's more convenient for me to put things there daily with like links to Teachers Pay Teacher stores and stuff or if it's easier on a vlog where it lasts, but it was pretty much 50-50. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of both today, so. Jensen and I went to Starbucks on our way here, but this is like really cold. Like I'm not in the mood for a really cold drink right now. I went to uh, Michael's yesterday because I needed more cardstock. I'm working on a gift for my mom. And so these are my colors. I love the sugar candy recollections cardstock and the soda pop. These are like my kind of bright pastels, I guess you might call it. So I'm obsessed with cardstock. If we ever do another like Secret Santa or anything, I love getting cardstock because I use it. Like it is everywhere. It's all over my room. I'm constantly like updating things and changing things and using more cardstock. So yesterday, um, I started making my mom this bulletin board that I um, downloaded on Teachers Pay Teachers from Miss Thornton's Thinkers. So they're gonna be these little flowers. So here's like the center of the flower and the stem and the leaves. And then I still need to print the uh, like the petals. Um, so I think there's like five petals, so they can write five things that they learned in kindergarten this year, um, or maybe put their name on one of the petals and then write like four things. So I'm making these little sets for my mom's kindergartners. This is going to be her Christmas present because she doesn't love like making bulletin boards. This is her first year teaching kinder. She's taught like every other grade level, but she's a little bit like. Wow, this is a lot. So I also started printing out um, the letters that come with it. So this says, um, look how we have bloomed, I think. So I just did some of the words so far and I'm just making this little kit for her. So this is gonna be her bulletin board in a box. So I've got these, I'm heating up my laminator and I'm gonna print out more of it. So then I just got this box also at Michael's. These were like on sale, so I hope everything fits in here. I'm not actually sure. And then there's a little like tray at the top. So I figure she can just reuse this for something. I wanted to get her a box that is actually useful. So I think, ooh, I hope, yes. Okay, these are gonna fit in here. I'm just gonna put everything I've got so far. Oh, that's cute. Actually, yeah, this is gonna look really cute, I think. Even if I put the tray back at the top. Oh, I think it crushes it a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I'll like set this aside <laughs> and like give this to her later. Yeah, I might just do that. And so I'll just keep filling it with everything that I print and then I'll just wrap this and give her a bulletin board in a box. I think that's gonna be really, really cute. Cool, and she can like carry it around. Yeah, I think that's gonna be really fun. Try to get a karaoke microphone yesterday and none of the ones that I saw at Toys R Us were any good and I, they, they were out of them at Walmart. The one I wanted was at Walmart, but they were out. So let me show you. A lot of people asked on Instagram about like our figurative language karaoke lesson. So let me show you like where I keep my lessons that I don't currently need but I, I might need them later so let's see this is gonna be an ELA 8 these are just from Ikea and rather than I, I used to put everything in these type of like three ring binders I still have a lot of things in binders but sometimes that's just hard to to get to and if it's things I'm probably gonna need again I just put it in here oh did I not put it in this section these are things that we've done. Okay, these are like tests, telltale heart. Okay, maybe it's not in here. Okay, maybe it was in ELA 6. Oh, this one is heavy. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna get these out. I will tag the Teachers Pay Teachers store I got these from. I can't remember now, but I remember putting it on um, Insta Stories. So these are song lyrics that are examples of each element of figurative language. So like illusion, you know, James Dean, daydream, look in your eye. 
lose yourself is always how I taught assonance in the past anyway. So I just printed these out and put um, laminated them. And then I gave each group one of these and then they had to sing like karaoke style, like just this section, like whatever the lyric section was of the song. So this is kind of how I got the idea and I think this was a good way to teach figurative language. I actually didn't get a chance to do it with my eighth graders yet, so I think they're gonna do this part today. Sixth graders have already done it, but they might wanna do it again. Um, okay, yeah, and then today, this is from Stacy Lloyd. We're gonna do something really similar where we look at Christmas carols, and they're gonna do the same thing. So they'll have to you know, sing this part of the song and then on the back, they have to notate um, what kind of figurative language is in each song. So I'm gonna make 10 different groups and then they'll sing their little section. I just wanted to have a cool karaoke mic for this. I'm so sad that I don't know. It's coming on December 28th, which is useless, but we'll just have to do it in the new year. And then they'll kind of teach each other the different figurative language examples. And then it's getting a little bit Christmassy in here. People have started dropping off their gifts for their secret Santa, which we will be doing on Thursday. So I could probably vlog that a little bit. So it is December. This is the last week of school of 2017. It's also December. Okay, so actually that should say ancient Israel now. I haven't changed that yet, but I have to like remind myself what section I'm even on with each of my classes because I can't even remember. So ancient Israel is only one week long though, so I guess I'll just wait to make a new sign because next we'll be doing ancient India. So I might as well just have it say that. Uh, we're doing a close read about the ancient Hebrews and then I created actually this really cool like web quest with music videos, like music video parodies to do tomorrow. So I'll have to share that on Teachers Pay Teachers. We're in the decisions that matter section. Oh, but we're not really doing it today. We're gonna do the Christmas Carol Karaoke. And we're also doing that with my eighth graders. Oh, I need to change this. This is not our schedule for today. I better update it before the kids come in. So this is our schedule for today. My prep is seventh period, but seventh period is always at a different time of day, depending on the day of the week. So I love it when I have it in the mornings because I am just never a very on-time person. So I like getting here and feeling like an on-time person and having all of this time to just get ready. So a personal laminator is seriously one of the best purchases I have ever made. Um, I mean, it can only do just like a regular paper sized thing. You can't, you know, like laminate like giant posters or anything, but I love doing letters this way, just like one to a big piece of paper. And you just put it in the pouch and then if you spend all this time and money on all these signs and everything, they actually last, you know? <laughs> it's really easy and doesn't take much time and you don't have to wait in line for the laminator in the copy room. Christmas 
Okay. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Okay, so what are the uh, elements of figurative language in it? Oh, uh, we found an illusion and a simile. What's the illusion? Uh, the illusion is Jack Frost. Okay. And uh, the simile is. Um, and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Cool. They were nice. Right. right. Yeah. And whenever you're ready. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Miss Morb's Lit Box Karaoke Time. <laughs> Welcome the Whammy Fam. Yay! Can I get a round of applause? <laughs> Okay, I have officially cut out and laminated everything for my mom's bulletin board in a box and I'll show you each little guy individually. So here's what each flower will look like and what I'm envisioning is that they write their name maybe on one of the leaves or on one of the petals and then write like words that they know how to spell or maybe math problems that they know how to do or just something that they learned in kindergarten this year. Here are the letters. They are um, laminated, so they look a little bit funny with the lights above them like that. But that'll be one nice big bulletin board. I'm excited. how it'll look all boxed up and then this is kind of nice like she could save this stuff for a bulletin board for later this is sort of a nice way to store everything so all of the little packets are right here and then the title is right here and then I'm gonna make copies like black line copies of everything for her too so she can make more if she needs them and then she can just put it away when she's done isn't this cute I love it. I'll put a little, actually I'm going to put a little um, sign right here. I just printed out the front page that you get on Teachers Pay Teachers, just in black and white on pink paper, so that when she stores this away she'll be able to tell what it is. And then I used the other half on this side just as an example of what it will look like. So then when she opens it she'll have kind of an idea, and then like next year if she pulls it out she'll be like, oh yeah, that was that was what this one was. So these boxes are from Michaels. These might be a really good way to like store the various bulletin boards that you do in your classroom every year if you kind of change them up based on season. Tuesday? No, it's Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday, but the first day of the vlog. Okay, all of my days are like off this week. I don't know what's going on, but tomorrow is our Secret Santa party, so I just wanted to show you what I got my students for Secret Santa because I'm in it also. So I got two boys, I just got them the same thing, and both of them said that they wanted Flaming Hot Cheetos, so I got them big bags of Hot Cheetos. And then I just thought these were cool. Um, Mr. Sketch scented crayons. They could use them as like highlighters or just keep them in their backpacks because you always need like some crayons or markers for your, your assignments. And they're both kids that like to do a good job and color their stuff. So I got those for those two boys. And then I was so excited that I got this student for um, the other class, Secret Santa, 
She's my fellow Hamel fan. So this doesn't look like much, but these are stickers. I think these ones are from Design Pandemonium. No, Dimension Bound, Dimension Bound. I bought these on Etsy before, but look how cute these are. These are like amazing Hamilton stickers. Skylar Sisters. Let's see if I can name everybody. King George. Hercules Mulligan. Mm, who would this be then? This would, this would be Lawrence. I think this is John Lawrence. I think this is Philip Schuyler. Alexander Hamilton. George Washington. John Adams, I think. Aaron Burr, actually. Kind of hard to tell which one would be Aaron Burr and which one would be John Adams. I'm not sure. One is one and one is the other. Obviously, Thomas Jefferson. Oh, <laughs> this was just like an extra. Okay, I guess I'll give her that too. So she will love these. She can put them like on her uh, binders or on her laptop or something. So I'm excited for her to open those. And then I just have a couple of other extra gifts just around the room that in case there's somebody that forgot to bring their gift or whatever, I can just throw that one in there. I've been getting a bunch of really sweet gifts throughout the week, kids have been bringing stuff. Like in middle school, I think you get less gifts than you get in elementary, but I do have more students, so it kind of evens out. Like obviously not every kid gets me something, but enough of them do that I've got, got a little collection over there. Totally been eating these butter cookies. This is like my favorite thing so far from the body shop. I don't know how this kid's mom knew how much I love the Moringa scent, but the Moringa scent is my favorite. I love this. I think this is like my favorite present of the year. Mmm, it smells so good. And like the body shop is nice. You know, like nobody doesn't like the body shop. So I told the kid, I was like, I know you didn't pick this out, but tell your mom she's a really good gift giver and I love my present. <laughs> taking that home with me today. Um, also, I just thought I would tell you, it was so funny. One of the instructional aides, I was just in the teacher's lounge, she was in there and she was like, this is kind of weird, but can I just ask you, like, why do I keep seeing you taking pictures outside every day? And that's like the question I dread, I'm like, Ugh. But then it gave me the chance to tell her all about Dress December and how I wear a dress every single day in the month of December. We raise money to combat human trafficking. So it was cool that I got to share that. But I know it is super weird and I try to like take the picture because I always have my students take the picture because they love doing it um, But I try to wait till like no adults are around so we always just kind of like stand there and I'll like be like about to take the picture And, like, shh, shh. and we like act like we're not doing anything and then like the teacher walks by and like okay But we're really obvious. So yeah, a uh, couple more days 11 more days it's december 20th and then i can wear pants again i am kind of excited i'm not gonna lie it's getting a little bit cold okay so for the next two periods we are making latka batter and then we're gonna fry them up tomorrow and play dreidel and eat our latkes and applesauce and there's sour cream and it's just gonna be like this big hanukkah party even though hanukkah ends tonight tonight's the eighth day of hanukkah tomorrow it's over but that's the day that works for us. So it's been really cool to expose our students to Jewish culture, give them insight into how other people celebrate and how they practice their religion and their culture. And it's been really fun. And plus there are so many good acapella parodies about Jewish celebrations. So I have been relying heavily on the Maccabees. And I made this really cool web quest that I will put up on Teachers Pay Teachers soon. I'm having all my kids test it out and like make sure that Everything's good. Oh, I got this bracelet from my winter cause box and I really love it. I'm excited every time I see it. So anyway, I wanna take some pictures of these stickers before I give them away. Cause I think with mine, I put them in my planner but I didn't take pictures of the whole collection. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then it will be time to make more latka batter.